Okay folks, welcome back. Next snippet in my getting yourself organized with org mode uh, tutorial. Today's concept is checklists. I have prepared a bit of a file here because you remember the other file that was our task list, our to-do list. The, the big bucket where we say this is all what we have on the plate uh, of the big things and now I want to show you a concept of a daily plan because uh, I decided for myself I want to have a plan for every day uh, where I write down what do I want to achieve today, what things do I want to do. And for that I created a extra new file that I call dailyplan.org and the interesting thing maybe is the startup height stars. This just means I show you uh, when we are here. You see 2016 is a headline and we have another headline that has an asterisk here. So it's a level 2 headline but the first one is always hidden because of those height stars. And you see this is a perfectly uh, date tree structure. We have a year, we have a month and we have some days. I have made a, a checklist for yesterday that looks like that. I have done weekly review, I went grocery shopping, I had read a chapter in the book that I'm currently reading and I practiced the base because that's the thing that is important for me. Of course I could have another 10 uh, checkbox items but it's just so that you see the concept and this is today's date. So I have an empty checklist, I have prepared this. I want to add something more to that. So I say, okay, I'm here at the end of that line. If I want to enter another check uh, item, I press Alt, Shift and Enter. And you see, here we go, everything is done. And now I have to think, oh my God, what, what uh, else do I have to do today? And since we are in org mode, uh, we can see in our agenda. We just have to press CAA and we get the weekly agenda from the other file from mylife.org and I see, oh my god, yes, this is true. I have to get a birthday present. Get birthday present. Yeah, that's it. So we can close the agenda and now I have a small thing for today. You see there are things like do the laundry. I could also say, okay, my God, I have to vacuum, vacuum the house or oh, whatever. So just just uh, also the, the daily annoying tasks, but that uh, need to be done are on this list. And whenever I have, I'm doing something or I have finished something, I can cross them off by just pressing Control C and Control C again. This one thing goes away. It's check off. And you see up here, you see 4-4. Four, four. That means 4 out of 4 are done. If you want to have such an indicator, you just enter this uh, square bracket open, that square bracket close. And you put the cursor on here, Control C twice. And now you see one out of six items is finished. Or if you want a percentage, it's also possible. In some cases, maybe percentage is better than one out of whatever. It looks like that 16% of the items are done. Now I, I did the laundry. Now you see 32% of the items is done. Or we go back to the numbering mode. This is practically my, my daily plan. And I came to the habit that I do such a plan maybe the evening before a day or even on the day in the morning because then I can decide how my uh, conditions are, how much energy, uh, energy I have for this day, uh, if I'm feeling healthy or if I'm feeling sick or whatever and I can write down a list what I think I could achieve today and then I can go and cross off all the items. Maybe today it's raining, I couldn't wash the car, then I could put it like that 
and maybe say okay a reason it was raining so I didn't wash the car so you see this is a nice structure because you can select the year you can select the month and you see the daily entries for that month you can extend it uh, even more from step to step and you have a nice list you have a nice overview let's say if this is the, the overview i could say okay on friday was a good day i was able to do everything i wanted saturday wasn't that good there was one item missing i could open it and see okay i tried to i wanted to wash the car but then the weather went bad and i said okay we don't wash the car so at the end of a year you have a file with a lot of lines and you have a nice history of what you did in that year and believe me i have a file now that is uh, holding practically the daily plans of two years and uh, it's interesting to see because if you go on a monthly level you see all the days and you see how many green days you have where you have uh, finished everything and how many red days you have where you could say okay something is wrong and uh, even in my weekly review checklist i have an item that says okay have a look at your performance how much of your daily plan did you fulfill in the last week or in the last month and if there are too many red items that means something is wrong you have to think uh, why am i not able to do what what i wanted to do on that day because I mean, it's not uh, a schedule that I said uh, today I'm scheduling for Christmas Eve. I'm just scheduling uh, the things I want to do today or tomorrow. And uh, if I derail somehow from that, uh, there must be a reason. So this is very helpful to, to get a feeling uh, how productive you are, really are and what the things uh, are that you are doing. and. Uh, it's, it's a sort of a tiny journal what, where you can see what, what did I do on those days and you just can browse through it or you can search it for things like laundry or whatever that you can really check when did I do this the last time washing the car. If I always have a line wash the car I could really search when, did, well, when in this year did I wash the car or whatever. So this is the basic concept of checklists. They are easy to understand, they are easy to, to write down, easy to fill out and uh, as I told you those, those daily plan file is something uh, I'm, I'm for myself I'm really enjoying because it's a great satisfaction when at the end of the day you can say okay let's pretend it wasn't raining, Wait, delete that. So at the end of the day I'm here everything green I say I have done what I wanted to do today and maybe I still have time and I can do other things or put other things on the list and I can really write down the, the things that are important for me. Uh, it's just it, it, it doesn't have to be much detailed you see it's just practice base. It's not uh, that I write down, okay, you have to take your base uh, storybook or, or textbook and you have to uh, work through practice number 10 to 12 or whatever. It's just practice that, do that. And uh, when I have done that for, let's say, I, I spend a Pomodoro time slice of 25 minutes on that, I say, okay, I'm satisfied. I did what I wanted to do. So this is checklist, this is all for now and I hope to read some comments or get some feedback from you, even thumbs up or thumbs down for the videos. So because I'm, I'm now done with the first episode I have to think a bit making uh, maybe a checklist about uh, the next episode, what topics I want to cover there and uh, well I hope you enjoy it and I hope that it gives you a bit of a insight what you can do with old mode and that it's practically easy when you once you understood what you can do. Okay, thank you for watching and bye.